Hello, hello, more Dimmers here and welcome to Insane Game which was played during the Belgian Team Championship in 2007 and now how to find the jewels like this, you know, played in the niche tournament 13 years ago. Actually, Fide Master Kamil Plichta on his road to the Grand Master, uh, now he makes a lot of research, so good luck Kamil in the, on your road uh, to become the, the Grand Master and he found this game and recommended to some niche channel, Polish channel of Szachmistrz. I leave the link in the description. If you know Polish, uh, you can actually see that game also in that language. Uh, and as I seen this game only in the one English channel five years ago, uh, I decided to actually show um, this game to the English speaking audience. So without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. The game is played between Martin Ann as white, uh, both of the players are Fide Masters and Thomas Rook, who's gonna play as black. So we have e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6 and d4. So uh, scotch game on the board, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4. Uh, and now knight f6 can be played or bishop c5, the two most popular lines, we have bishop c5 and now white has to decide what to do, knight c6 is, is one of the choices, uh, bishop e3 is the main line, however knight b3 was played in this game uh, and it's called Potter variation and it's not Harry Potter variation but probably William Potter which was you know the master, English master in the 19th century, however I didn't see this variation played by in his games in the database so I'm not really sure but it's Potter variation. I would like to stop for a while here and I would like to show you a couple of traps in the scotch games where you know bishop e3 is played the main line so this is the main line for the reason and black really needs to know what to do next. The main line is queen f6 completely counterintuitive defending this knight because if you play something you know like knight f6 developing move the first your bishop is hanging this is the biggest problem so knight c6 with the attack on the queen d takes on c6 and you just lose the the, the bishop and of course the game so after bishop e6 also uh, d6 cannot be played uh, because for the similar reason knight c6 d takes on c6 uh, bishop takes on c5 d takes on c5 and after exchange the queens the material is equal however black cannot castle and also these pawns are really not impressive they can be of course easily stopped by only one pawn and there is another trap here actually after knight c3 very interesting if black want to get some material as a compensation for this terrible pawn structure and play something like rook b8 uh, what white can do is, you know, play something silent, just, you know, play something like f3, uh, pretending that this is the blunder and just want to, you know, play solid, because if the rook takes on b2, I hope you see that already, this is a real blunder, because white can castle on the queen side with the check, you know, and attack on the rook. Very beautiful um, motif. So it's good to know that and remember about that in, you know, in some similar situation. Uh, in our game, we had the knight b3, so Potter variation, bishop b6, and now knight c3. Knight f6 by Thomas, bishop g5, pinning the knight h6, bishop h4, and now d6, uh, preparing the, the way for the, for the light square bishop. And now this is the critical moment of the game, and this is why it's so important to actually know what you are doing in this opening. It's extremely sharp. The main line here is queen e2 with the idea of, of making them the long time castle. Also bishop d3 is possible and also f3 is possible. And these three moves have something in common. All of them defending e4 square, which is pretty important here. However, in our game we had a4. a4 with the simple idea playing e5 and asking the bishop what you're gonna do, where you're gonna move. So uh, we have the couple of games in the database here. Uh, a6 is the is the most move, sometimes g5, kicking the, the bishop because this knight actually can come to d5 and this can this pin can be very unpleasant. So g5 is the is a very you know good idea in this opening. A6 is also a good idea. However, there is some trap here. Knight e4 
and it's very similar to legal mate so i hope everybody knows the legal mate in the philidor uh, defense the queen is under attack now can white take this queen or not in our game the, the queen was taken now i would like to show you what would happen for example after knight e4 knight e4 of course queen can take the the bishop uh, and black has a very comfortable game for example uh, there are some you know uh, scholars made here on the board after let's say f5 kicking the knight and so on so black would have very strong game with extra pawn and uh, very active pieces what the engine recommends after taking on e4 actually believe me or not is queen h5 to defend this bishop very important move and now after g6 only then you know uh, pick up the queen and after g takes on h5 knight e4 king d8 and black has a very comfortable ga game yes these pawns are very ugly however keep in mind that black also has one extra pawn Rook e8 is coming with the very serious threat. For example, f5, bishop, bishop f5 is coming. And if white tries to, for example, castle, then the problem is that this knight is the only defender of f2. So once the, the knight is moved or eliminated by the bishop, then this bishop can keep, pick up the pawn on f2. So uh, black would be, you know, two extra pawns um, up and uh, of course have the winning position. So this is why why Martin and uh, didn't go for for some crazy variation of the of the engine and played simply bishop d8 and ask Thomas okay show me what do you have here I don't see the checkmate so show me we have bishop f2 with check so craziness just starting we have king e2 and now bishop g4 with check the only legal move is king d3 and now how to continue as black how would you continue as black if you try to take the the queen right now this is actually losing the game because after bishop d1 knight e4 both of your bishops are under attack so at the end you can save one of the bishops but then after exchanging the pieces you have uh, you know one piece for two pawns so white definitely has the winning position the rook can be brought to the game the king can be you know very easily uh, moved to the safety so completely no problem so there is only one winning move for black here and is knight e5 with check sacrificing yet another piece so we have king e4 uh, there is there was no choice as all of the squares are controlled by black so look at this this bishop controls this bishop also controls and the knight were controlling all of these squares so uh, that was not possible this was the only legal move and now we have f5 of course king f4 cannot be played because there is a checkmate in one so uh, I hope you see that already it's not g5 because the bishop can take it but rather knight g6 this is the checkmate uh, so this is why in the game we had king d5 and now again how to continue you have the king in the center but you have to continue you cannot play something like c6 because your d pawn is hanging so uh for example kick d6 and now if you play something like rook d8 then your knight is hanging so king uh, e5 and after exchanging all the pieces here uh, on d1 white has two extra pieces so definitely white has you know winning position knight f7 slightly better but still losing king c7 and yes there is something like rook d8 with the very strong threat for example rook d7 and if the king is moved to the eighth rank uh, e7 king e7 that would be the beautiful check Checkmate. there is one problem with that queen d8 uh, wins the game knight d8 and of course rook extra for white is enough to win the game so you have to prepare that first this is why we have rook d8 played by tamas supporting d6 and now c6 is a very serious threat so if white want to for example save the queen the queen is still under attack if white to tries to save the queen the problem is c6 with the check king e6 and again do you see checkmate in one move i hope you see 
boom f4 that would be the checkmate so this bishop is a pretty dangerous piece so this is why martin ann wants to give back the queen we have queen g4 uh, and now how to continue the game again we have c6 king e6 and now black actually has two ways to win the, the game f takes on g4 is possible but in our game we had the castle so i would like to show you how to win with f takes on g4 so and now the king can try to escape actually from this mating net and play king f5 but after castle uh, and king e4 the king has nowhere to go because again all of these squares are completely you know covered by the pieces so in this case what black would have to find is actually d5 uh, and there are actually only two ways to continue king e5 uh, but then what black have to find again very complicated game but also very beautiful rook f6 the most important is to control d6 square and now of course the checkmate is coming so let's say knight d5 there are no better moves here uh, rook e8 knight e7 and that would be a checkmate this bishop is deadly it still controls you know all of the square so this is just deadly uh, other variation knight d5 this would be more tricky because after c takes on d5 king e5 now this pawn is loose so the king can escape this way but there is another checkmate rook f to e8 incredible uh, and after king f5 black can actually cut the king and lock it in the box rook e4 and the king cannot escape uh, bishop d3 some developing moves but now everything is forced rook f8 king g6 rook f6 and there are no moves king h5 g6 and now we would have this beautiful checkmate with the bishop on e3 so this way or another f takes on g4 was winning on the spot of course the king don't need to escape but there are other checkmates as well uh, in our game we had the castle which is also winning uh, of course rook f6 is coming uh, and then we're gonna have a checkmate now uh, how to continue if queen f6 let's say you know preventing anything like that white still can sacrifice this queen the problem is rook f to e8 and this is a checkmate so uh, you know there are a lot of mates in this position it's completely crazy queen h5 maybe defending e8 so there is no checkmate but then we have another checkmate rook f6 and after king e7 rook d7 king e8 rook f8 and this beautiful way of checkmating so uh, what to play as white maybe bishop c4 it looks very tricky because now if we have the check uh, then the king can escape this way together with check uh, is that the problem f takes on g4 and now let's say rook h to f1 trying to develop the the last pieces uh, but then rook d e8 with check king d6 and now the problem is this bishop is hanging so knight c4 with check uh, and now if king c7 we have rook f7 and this is a checkmate so not possible and king d7 is quite a tricky one so actually you can pause the video and find the winning continuation for black it's still winning while i enjoy my cup of tea so ready this time is the first checkmate in three moves so i hope you found it if not then you can pause again and and find it rook f7 boom with check the only move is king e8 and now knight d6 king d8 the only move and now bishop b6 and this is a checkmate as the knight you know controls all of the squares so <laughs> that would be very very beautiful checkmate so as you see the position is completely insane uh, so how to continue as white actually martin ann found very interesting move 
Knight d5, knight d5, very deep move. First of all, the most important, the knight cannot be taken. That would be losing move. So uh, it's, it's, it's a very tricky one because this pawn would be, you know, a loose piece and the, the king would escape and also would have a very nice shield. d6 pawn would be a, sh a shield uh, and the rook, you know, cannot check and can deliver a checkmate. Even the king, you know, cannot move because all the squares around uh, are covered by black pieces but there there, is, there are no pieces to deliver a checkmate so the knight cannot be taken also the knight controls f6 so there is no checkmate starting from from f6 sequence so that's the first thing and finally uh if black actually would like to you know deliver some some checks on e8 there is always the option uh, of playing knight e7 together you know with check so uh, very good move knight d5 so what black can do in this position is actually f takes on g4 this is what uh, thomas rook played and now we have bishop d3 developing move uh, and making a way for the rooks uh, and now how to continue as black believe me or not but there is still a mating sequence here for black which actually thomas rook missed Rook D to E8 is winning in this position and now uh, there are two ways of defending King D6 and, uh, and Knight E7 if King D6 then actually Rook D8 and now if White takes the, the Knight then we have a checkmate this way Rook D5 with check uh, if the king is moved here, then of course we have rook e8, that would be the checkmate in one, so king e4, but then we have g5, and now rook f4 is a checkmate, if white tries to stop it, playing something like g3, then rook e8 is also a checkmate. So pretty interesting, very beautiful. Uh, of course, in this position, white could be more tricky and play something like king e6, not taking the, the knight. However, then we would have rook d5. Uh, and, and of course, we have rook f6. We you know already that sequence. Uh, white can be also tricky, king e7. But there is still checkmate here. Rook d7, king e6, rook f6. And after king e5, we have another checkmate again these bishops you know uh, make all the job here so uh, that was the one way knight e7 also doesn't work because after king h8 uh, what to play next you have rook f6 checkmate in one move the only way to stop it is king d6 but the rook f6 still on the board and after king e5 again we have the sec same checkmate and if king c7 then we would have rook e7 king d8 uh, rook d7 king e8 rook e6 and this would be another checkmate so this way or another this position is just insane uh, however, as I said, Thomas Rook missed that sequence. Uh, he found another one. He found another one. But is is it, you know, so perfect as this one? He played g6, uh, covering f5 uh, with the idea of bring the, the, the king to, to g7. And then he can checkmate in the next move. We have Rook h to f1, king g7 as planned. Uh, however, now we have knight d4. Uh, and saying, okay, you can take my knight, then I'm gonna, you know, um, exchange the rooks, and yes, I'm gonna be two pawns down, but I still, maybe, you know, I uh, can play this endgame and have some chances. However, Thomas said, no, uh, I don't want your knight, rook f to e8, I'm gonna checkmate you. We have knight e7, and now bishop h4 so checkmate is coming in the next move this is what um thomas rook found and again martin Ann found another resource believe me or not bishop g6 bishop g6 the most important in this move is to make a space escaping sca space for the for the king because this pawn was defending f5 very important uh, we have rook e7 king f5 rook f8 and now the king escape king e4 what is going on but you know pause the video one more time and find the winning sequence for black while i enjoy my cup of tea one more time
Again, we have force checkmate in three. This one is not so difficult. The winning continuation would be d5 with check. And white doesn't have much choice, only one legal move, king e3, and after knight c4, king d3, rook e3, this is a checkmate. And in my opinion, this game should end up, you know, this way. That would be beautiful. However, uh, Thomas rook probably was low on time, you know, it took a lot of energy and time, of course, uh, to find all of these continuations, um, you know, still keeping this king, um, you know, under the pressure uh, in the checkmating patterns and uh, white found the resources. However, that was not enough to draw or win the game. In this position, actually, we had knight g6 played by, by Thomas and after king d3, Knight goes back to e5, king c3, king is finally in the safety. Uh, the problem is uh, now white are down in material and the only hope now is um, some family fork here. Uh, however, after bishop f2, very precise move, Martin and actually resign. And he resigned because if he doesn't want to lose the knight, then he has to retreat. And of course, black has one extra pawn and one extra bishop. So um, it's definitely enough to win that game. What a game, beautiful game. If you like this game, press like. If for some reason you don't like it, press unlike. And if you don't want to miss another brilliant game and jewels on my channel, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.